Alright guys, welcome to the video today. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the next raid that's going to be coming up, I think in 9 days now. I don't know when this video is going to be going up. Um, I actually made a thorn video a couple days back, and I put it scheduled for Monday. And that's actually when the, the buff came for the thorn. I was, you know, making a video complaining about how they should buff it. It got a couple dislikes, so I think people thought I put it up for views or something like that. I don't know. But um, uh, in this video, I'm basically going to be explaining to you guys the best set of weapons you could possibly have for the next raid that's coming up and for the next DLC see that's coming up not necessarily for the new crucible mask because you know that's completely different but for the raid itself these are the best weapons that you're going to want to have for it so starting off with the primary of course this is just going into the raid i'm not going to be talking about weapons within the new raid that you can get that are going to be really good for it but as far as the ones that you can actually get right now the vision of confluence is definitely going to be the best legendary primary you can have obviously it's a scout rifle it can have a 27 size magazine and it's also full auto the 27 magazine is uh you know it comes from the field scout ability but that will be definitely available to you once you get the gun and upgrade it fully so upgrade that all the way and then if you do not have the vision of confluence or you have the vex mythic class and your you know your build is kind of based around your primary weapon being exotic then go for the vex mythic class because the damage is actually boost to about 323 i'm not sure that's exact but in the 320s for sure and then on top of that it is solar damage you know solar damage is going to be very powerful within the next raid it's the equivalent of void in the last one that's going to be fire for this one because the wizards will be very dominant you know it's it's based around the moon so wizards are going to be the major people you have to kill with their fire shields so when they're moving around the vex mythic class and vision and conflicts are going to be very powerful and they will help your team out a lot because you know elemental damage on a primary is very rare and to have it fire is very very important and very very valuable and then moving on to sniper rifles the exotic that you're going to want to have is icebreaker because it can regenerate bolts after time so you know that's very valuable to have within a raid you know it was really good within the last raid and then you also want to have the final boss fully upgraded you can purchase this from the crucible quartermaster for about 150 uh crucible marks and you level up all the way it is solar damage you can get a six size magazine it's very good so i would go with that for the legendary and then for the exotic you're going to want to choose the icebreaker because you know like i said regenerates ammo that's very very powerful within a raid even in the last one where it wasn't fire it was fantastic so go with either the icebreaker or the final boss fully upgraded of course you're going to want to fully upgrade these before the raid starts on december 9th 2014 and then moving on to the heavy ammo slots the exotic that you're going to want to have is galahorn because you know those wizards do move around very fast and because they move around very fast you're going to want to have tracking bullets so the missiles that actually come out of the galahorn like the truth they track onto their target so you're going to be able to hit those wizards a lot easier with something say like a like a hezen vengeance which will be actually be the legendary choice which i'll go over in a couple minutes but galahorn it tracks on those wolf pack rounds are absolutely devastating it comes with two rounds in one clip i guess you'd say and then of course you can have some in reserve and then moving on to the legendary like i said hezen vengeance which is the raid heavy you know rocket launcher when you get that rocket launcher it's kind of like a mini galahorn because it has those special upgrades that makes it so that once you actually shoot it these little things pop out and they do extra damage it also has a three round magazine which is something to consider very greatly it doesn't track on which might be pretty bad if you don't have good aim and you can't lead the target for the wizards but overall that is your best legendary choice moving on to just preparing overall for the raid you're going to want to have about 150 of each material yes that does include ascendant energy and ascendant shards of course this is not exactly reality for most but you know if you can definitely try to hit that mark don't spend your shards yet or energies yet because you know there's gonna be new weapons coming out also save your exotics because exotic cores just came out you want to you know dismantle your exotic gear that's spared that you, you know you might have doubles of or you just don't need it and then you have exotic cores which you can use to fully upgrade your exotic weapons and gear so that's very valuable on top of having about 120 of each material so spirit bloom spin metal relic iron you know the rest of them helium filaments the whole thing you can actually buy 20 of each material for only 10 marks for their specific classes so that means if you have 10 vanguard marks you go to the vanguard quartermaster you can actually get 20 of that material that you choose same with the crucible guy you know it's very good <laughs> this prevents farming farming is done guys because you don't have to you know we're not spending crucible marks or vanguard marks anyways i don't think by now we, we already have good enough weapons that are fully upgraded we don't really need them so you know bungie's letting us spend them on materials which is very 
very generous of them so you know thank them for that but overall that's how you're going to prepare for the next raid you want to have all fire weapons you know get your fire subclass for the gunslinger or the hunter i would use the gunslinger for the warlock i would use the sunslinger then of course you know you got to go with defender for the titan and that's kind of you know it that's kind of the gist that you need to know for this next raid and dlc coming up so if you enjoyed this video drop a like down below also comment what you thought of this video and what you know weapons you're gonna have for the raid and subscribe if you haven't already so you do not miss a video in the future and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video peace yeah.